Hey, hello viewers and welcome to another video. This time we are back in the Lotus 49. This is my attempt at week four. We are at none other than Twin Ring Mategi full course layout. I love this track, got to say. And quite a small grid um, relative to this series on a Sunday, uh, sorry, Saturday afternoon. Uh, 21 car grid. We've done very well. Qualified P6. Very above my usual qualifying spot. As you can see, the front three are kind of in a different league to almost everyone over a certain gap between third and fourth. But we're near the front of the rest, so happy with, very happy with the quality. Main goal, just bring it, bring it home, get some points. If we can hold on to a top five or something, or top six even, I'll be happy. But just keep it clean. As always, guys, if you enjoy these videos, hit that the like button. Temp is 17 Maybe subscribe. Celsius, 19 laps. Here we Heads go. up, get ready. Green, let's go, let's go. Oh, guys behind me got a good good launch. On your left. You're on the right. Three wide. Left side. Ooh, is that just... Hold your line. Where'd the other guy go? Clear left. Okay. Went from three wide to two wide. Don't know where the other guy, car went in amongst all of that, but we survived. Good enough start. We lost one, but didn't get quite a good launch. As well, yeah, the two guys behind me, I think. Got to say, big thanks to um, John Olson, Mick Claridge, and Rob. I'm going to butcher his name. Ol Olenek. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his name. Those three people um, shared their setups in um, a practice session I was in. Match is settled with um, Rob's setup of the three. Oh, we've got Mr. Behind us going for it. It's very. corner where it's very easy to outbreak yourself. And this little section is very easy just to end up over on the left somewhere. That, that whole last section. To me, is the um, P7. Is tricky. Let's keep this guy under pressure as much as we can and run laps. Don't make mistakes. It's yeah, like I say, I... oh, crikey! Whoa! They'll get it right out of the fold there. Car left. Clear left. Come on. Josie's got a mistake in him now. We can just keep the pressure on. There'll be opportunities. Yeah, I've done oh, a little bit early on the brakes there. Done a fair amount of practice here. I think because I had the three setups, so I kind of gave a good run in each of the setups. It almost gave me a reason to practice in a weird kind of way. He's a bit slower than me through into that corner, I feel. Last couple of times I've carried more speed. Partly because he's got me behind him. The leader's just done a 144.9. Sector 1 is 1.2 off the pace. Come on. 
Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a quite a big fan of this track. I know it doesn't get a lot of love. Quite funny, the um, practice session prior to uh, the waiting room prior to the uh, race was foggy as hell. <laughs> it was thick fog. speed through some of these corners. All right. Oops. Still there. Play right. Ask a few more questions. Car left. Oh, hello, Mr. Behind us asking questions. Hold as your well. line. Clear left. He's got a good run now. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Oh no! Clear oh, right. Sorry. Come on, Robert. Don't let oh. him get away. <laughs> right side. I think he's Hold okay. Oh no, he's not. Oh, sorry, that's right. that man. Just got into the brakes a bit too much. Oh, that's a shame. I'm guessing I broke his suspension or something. Uh, that's, re that's really horrible. Not how we want to do it. I think I just locked up a little bit, which didn't help. It's always a um a tough braking zone down there. Alright, get back on it though. Whoops. Apologies to that man if he ever watches this video. The gap in front has increased, it's now about 1.7. He's still around, I'll send him a message after post race. We're in a critical lap now, though, so maybe we was getting held up a bit. I don't know. All right, Robert, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Oops. Okay. Oh, cracky. Last lap time was at 1.46.5. Bad, 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 bad. The stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. Damn it. Play right. Come on, keep pushing. Just a bit too much break back there. Where am I? P7. Not too bad. Maybe P8. P8. Yep. I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> I don't have, I, I say every video I do pretty much, I don't see the overlays, I don't know who that driver was, but um, I don't know what happened, what's happened to him in the aftermath of that moment. Whether he's back up and running again, he might be in front of me for all I know, but...
Tamam. Settle down. Put some laps together. Um, about three laps, hopefully. Kind of holding on to what's ahead of us, roughly. We're not pulling away, so. Brakes there. I left it in fourth just to try and keep the stability. The gap in front is now 1.1 seconds. That full position up there, I'm not sure. Where's that back marker? Ahead of three cars up. It's all for position. Oh no! You've just done a 146.2. Bit looser. <laughs> kind of controlled it. Didn't lose. Only lost a tenth. It ain't too bad. Come and kill that. Get back up there with these three and um, get part of their groovy gang. Oh crap, too hot. Too hot, but a decent exit to make up for it. Probably actually how you want to take that corner. To some degree. Whew. Okay, Robert, gaining on this car, the gap is zero point seven. That was a 146.2. Come on. Definitely got proper draft now. He don't like them cones, does he? <laughs> oh no. Ooh. It's a tough track to overtake, I think. Especially in these cars, we can't really do much really on the brakes. It, I can't, anyway. As you may have noticed already from that. On your right. Whoa. Clear right. The gap behind is now 3.5. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. We did okay there. 
Overtake. I'm on track overtake, well done, although it'll probably come back at me in a second. I held on to it. Okay. Onwards and upwards. B7, your lap time was 147.1. Start the road, there we are, wobble. Screwed up. Come on. Keep your exit speeds up. Oh, bad lines. Too hot. Where we at? We've got, yeah, we're not even halfway yet, a long way to go. What is that ahead of them? That's with this one as well up there. We seem to be catching that guy. Might not be, it might just be. They look close on that part of the track. Oh, nearly. Bad, um, bad grass. That lap time was 146.5. Come on. Screw this up, wrong gear. Every time I screw it up, I go quicker. <laughs> That's where the problem lies, I think. Uh oh. I think we've got a back marker. Maybe coming up or someone having a moment up the road. So we can get by them safely. Better luck we get them down the back straight and... Oh, crikey! Whoa! Car right. Good God! Clear right. Oi, oi, oi! That was scary. Too close! Too close! And I've screwed that up big time. That's okay. Okay, Robert, we just cut the track. I, I missed my breaking point back there. Bad lap, lost a couple of seconds that one, but still got four wheels. We're halfway home. We think about nine laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, Mom. Uh oh, oh dear, something's happened. I'm guessing they got together. Unusual place to lose it otherwise. Basically crashed on the straight, so... Don't 
Come on. So I'm guess gonna guess we're P6 for the time being. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think that's where I started. Oh no! I've screwed this up. Let's accept it and um On your right, clear right. Make sure the car survives. Two laps in a row we've done that. Or Bad luck, Robert. Come on, don't let him get away. Something similar to that. Uh oh. On those tracks it's You're gaining on this car. The gap is 0.3. Gaining on him, he just passed me, Jim. What are you on about? Oh, I'm brave. Yeah, screwed it up. Bad lines. Come on. Oh, I've got a loose. Oh, not as loose as he did. Car left, clear left. <laughs> I think you had a bit of a Thunderfoot moment back there. And then I nearly crashed watching him having a Thunderfoot. He might come back at us down here, but um I need to get back in a flow of consistency if that makes any sense. In a bit erratic the last five laps or so. Sixth place. That lap was a 147.1. Sector two is 0.9. Off the pace. Come on. The gap behind is now 0.6. See if we can increase that gap behind. Bad lines. <laughs> How often have I said that this race? Okay, Robert, don't let this guy distract you. Easier said than done. Oh, right, where are we at? Five to go next time by. We'll get in there. It'll be a very good result. That's kind of the wrong gear, but... Come on, need to pick this pace up. That lap was a 147.1. 46.5 I need in that ballpark. My um, go-to kind of... I was doing in practice anyway, quite regularly. Better 
better. Just take a bit of speed out through there and smoother rather than quicker. Hmm. Using some time now. I mean, there might be some time, some um, draft on the Delta. So Delta is actually a 457, which we're not. So yeah, we're looking for like eight tenths over the Delta. Would be an okay lap, in my opinion. Last lap for the last few laps. Sectors one and two are 0.7 off the pace. Sector three is 0.8 off the pace. I'll be trying to beat what I can beat rather than trying to beat some draft. Some lap filled with draft. Come on. I had a good lap, though. I was my fastest out of the race. Uh, I think at least fastest clean that, I think. I'm sure, the optimal said 45 a minute ago. Guess my eyes are going again. Lap. At least better than the last lap, anyway. Currently, which was my best lap. So yeah, it's good lap. Started to drift a little bit there under braking. Be careful. Come on. Very good lap. Two more of those, please. The guy in front is Olsen. All right, Robert. You got about four laps of fuel left. That last lap was a 146.6. Got Mr. Behind us might be catching us, but just keep doing what I'm doing. That Delta Green. B6. As I said earlier, that was a 46.5, which is kind of where I feel I've only just got there, so my pace has been a little bit off of what we was doing in practice, which could be for a range of reasons, including weather, obviously. Go next time by. Have a fastest lap. Two more like that, please. Three laps of fuel remaining. Sectors one and three are 0.5 off the pace. Sector two is 0.7 off the pace. Okay, Robert, lap times are pretty consistent. Come on. Bad lines, bad lines. Screwed that up. Yeah, lost a lot of time now. Almost half a second. 
over half a second in fact. One bad corner. Come on. Bad, bad. Bad lines. Ow. Bad brakes. <laughs> Half in the heat from this guy behind me. I know he's there. Doesn't help when I give him half a second in sector one. One to go this time by. got loose. Said that earlier in the race and um, very easy to end up over on the left somewhere. Get that wrong. Two to go. Only two more laps of fuel. Your last lap oh, time was one forty seven. One to go. Oh yeah yeah that was a terrible lap. Get it back. the green now because uh, it's against last lap so can kind of see how much time we did lose last lap come on Come on, go, 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 go. Bad lines. Although, probably a good exit. Whew. That was good. I haven't heard me say that very often. Good lap, actually, I think. One more to go. We think you'll be out of fuel on the next lap. Come on. Bring it home. They're very happy with this. Apart from the guy that we killed or punted or don't exactly know what happened to him left. in the aftermath. Hoping he was able to carry on and get going again and whatnot. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 2.0 seconds. Come on. Break nice and early. Don't screw it up from here. Bring it home. The guy behind it really dropped off. I don't know if he had a moment back there or... Holy moly, happy with that. That's, that's hard work. I'm still guided that I kind of punted that guy. P6. Okay, it's over. Have a look back at that moment. 
good result though. Well, obviously we didn't want that moment, but we can't take away it. It's still, oh, hello. <laughs> still a good result. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, that's pace car. Take a look back at the moment in question. Uh, where am I? Oh, there we are. Lap, I think it's lap three, judging by the lap times. Noticing a big, um, a big dropping that lap time. Uh, I think it's going to be the end of lap three. I I'm probably should have gone lap two. And, yeah, so it's this guy, isn't it? Yeah. But who, who was it, first and foremost? John. Oh, John. But overs on the inside, I, I just, yeah. Carl just wouldn't slow down quickly enough. Where did John finish? Ah, uh, he DNF pretty much two laps down. I don't know if we um, affected his car or if he's lost it on the... It doesn't look damaged. I'm not sure if that was... Um, hard to tell whether he picked up damage from that moment or... Oops, let's get, go cockpit with him. Looks okay. Oh no, he, yeah, he looks like he's got some big issues. Sorry, John. Oi, 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 that's annoying. Without further ado, let's take a look at the official results. Okay, so when all was said and done, it was a 24.02 strength of field. Excuse me. Um, it was car number nine. I started P6, finished P6. Uh, big apologies down to John Olsen once again. Um, a little chat with him post-race. post, post -race and He took it very well. Um, we gained... Seven incidents and 110 championship points, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I, like it don't matter how how well I've done when I've killed someone else's race, kind of thing. Like it's um, it's just um, ruins the whole race for me. I don't. We gained 46 I in. We lost 04 on the safety. Um, but yeah, good good result. Just that one. Pinnacle moment of the race. But we'll move on. We'll learn from it. Try not to make it happen again. And yep, there you go. As always, though, guys, hope you enjoyed the race. If you did, hit that like button, maybe subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. See you soon.